on down on the big lake they call Gitchigumi. The lake it is said never gives up her day when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron and 26,000 tons of more, the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. If a good ship was true and a bone to be chewed when the gales of November Back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freight is go, it was bigger than most. With the crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms where they left fully loaded from Cleveland. Later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north when they didn't? The witch of November came stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait. The gales of November came slashing. The afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. Time came, the old cook came on deck, singing, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. 7 p.m., the main hatchway caved in. He said, fellas, it's been good to know you. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. Later that night, when its lights went out of sight, Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes? Turn the minutes to hours. The searchers all say that I've made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen and Farther below Lake Ontario Lakes in Lake Erie can send her and Iron boats go as the mariners all know in the gales of November remember
sold out in Detroit, they pray the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchigomi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead. When the gales of November came early 